<laughs> so now that, now that we have eight minutes, let's talk about like a very, um, very, this is a very serious subject. Um, what is your ideal? How did you know I wasn't going to be serious? I can tell. <laughs> what is your ideal penis size? I Just because, you know, size. people are going to be like, what's all this existential talk I about? Know. Like, when are they going to talk about dicks? Here we are. We're talking about dicks. Alexis, what do you think about well, dicks? the key to happiness of a nice dick. <laughs> purpose of my life is dick size <laughs> as your cock raider <laughs> i gotta tell you um let's see perfect size. So- i don't know like really size wise but like uh, you know nothing that's too big or too small to mm. be honest because like too big i'm only gonna be able to do that every so often like you're like you're uh, pray for my vag tomorrow tomorrow with dread <laughs> yes. who we love i love him dearly we, everyone loves dread <laughs> But your vagina might be like, can we only love him like once Once, every couple of months? Once every five years, apparently. That's where I'm going for right now. Um, (laughs) Shit. But uh, I forgot he was going to say right now. Oh, Oh, perfect perfect dick size. size. Jeez. (laughs) Cut on dread. I totally forgot. You know, just something that fits nice. Uh, Definitely probably bigger than six inches. Mm -hmm. Um, Smaller than 10, maybe. (laughs) That's a fucking big range. (laughs) Seven to nine? Okay, seven to eight? I don't know. A, I don't think. Any, just look, four, I'm just so used to. Range, I, it's like that I much. Think, it's like anywhere between. Somewhere between there. You know what it is? I think I get so much porn dick. I don't yeah. even know what, like, what is the average dick out yeah, there. Yeah, that's true. You're definitely not, um, you're not dealing with average dicks on a daily basis. No, and I'm like, you know, I've been single for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, it's so, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to get a worm once in a while. <laughs> That's not on camera. I'm like, oh, what are we going to do here? What is this? <laughs> I mean, why do you think that, you know, we were talking earlier about how, you know, we talked earlier about Dread, and, you know, Dread's been on my podcast. If you guys haven't seen the interview, go check it out because it's, it's great. He's so lovely. Um, but, you know, that podcast did insanely well, and my audience is 96, 98% men. So generally, male performers don't perform terribly well on my show. They usually get much lower. The only numbers. time they don't perform well, I know. <laughs> the only time they <laughs> they have to talk. Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, guy. Can I just bust my dick out? Yeah, hey, I can. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, oh my god. <laughs> but Dread did like so well. It's one of like my top episodes. Like people are just crazy about him and. It's just so interesting to me that people are so obsessed with his dick. And I just think, like, it must mean – I think it means more to men and women because, yeah. like, society in general, we're so obsessed with penis size than just, like, you know, the the insertion situation and satisfying a woman. It seems to suggest, like, power and virility and, like – yeah, it's it's. I've seen a lot of penises come yeah. my way, mm. um, whether it was <laughs> invited in the uh, on the OF or yeah. or unsolicited, unsolicited on my Twitter. Dicks. Thanks, yeah. buddy. Um, I've seen a lot of dicks, and I don't know why. Um, I don't know. And is it just? And sometimes I gotta wonder: Is it just an American culture that's obsessed with dicks, or is it like obsessed with dicks all around, all all over the place? <sighs> But yeah, dick size. I is think just it's so everywhere. I think it's everywhere. Such a like obsession, and I've seen all sorts, like really tiny, like you know, micro penis with huge fucking balls, and it's like, and they have like these huge cum loads, and you're like, oh my god, and then you'll have a massive size dick with a small set of balls, and like you know, watery, like where's that cum load? <laughs> Jesus, dude, maybe leave that fucking thing alone. Get some get some zinc and eat it a banana, buddy. <laughs> that was not impressive. <laughs> I would not expect would, a large set of balls with a micro penis. Oh, right? sometimes, yeah. I'll even have them like wrap their balls up around their little micro penis and like, you know. Do you get a lot it. of like micro penis? Oh, like, I get all dick sorts. Ratings? I get like, you know, um, well, I get all sorts. You know, I yeah. have a lot of, I have all sorts. I have my sissy boys. And so the micro penises, do you generally find that, sorry, I don't know why I'm obsessed with this topic. Um, do They're you cute. generally <laughs> find that, that those guys like are looking for smh like small penis humiliation or do they majority i find are they okay so it's so interesting majority i think they do get off on that i mean i think they've taken um their dick and they're like okay this is what's going to get me off yeah you know maybe that was their first exposure to sexual pleasure with somebody you know humiliating them in some sense and that just clicked off in their head yeah you know like Sometimes that their sometimes people's first sexual experiences or experiences can mm-hmm. influence what 
their fetishes may be later on. I think. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a psychologist. Don't quote me on that. But like, yeah. from what I've seen, I just feel like, you know, when I start talking and I've had fa- fans, you know, some of my fans have been with me for now almost um, 12 years, 12 yeah. and a half years. So it'll be 13 in July. Wow. Um, and they were memory from all sorts, Bang Bros yeah. days, all that stuff. But yeah, the micro penis with the big balls is always exciting. Um, <laughs> with all shapes and sizes. But they're all, all they're all worthy of love. Oh, they are. They are. <laughs> so, we all much adore them. <laughs> so much love. So much love. Maybe your purpose in life is to just love all the penis. You know, I you know, thinking about it, like I was thinking about I do think about purpose of life, you know, here and there. And um or <laughs> when I'm by myself. But I think, like, sometimes my purpose in life is I provide a very safe safe space and a happy place for people, mm-hmm. um, especially I feel like when they come over to my house, mm-hmm. um, people learn to relax. They can feel be themselves. My fans across the line, my, my cucks, my, my sissy boys, mm-hmm. all those guys, they feel comfortable to share their fetish with me mm-hmm. um, or – my friends feel comfortable, you know, relaxing at my house and they can <sighs> let yeah. go. And yeah. if that's my purpose to provide that for people where they can kind of uh, engage in their own healing process mm-hmm. then, and realize that they have that within themselves, yeah. then let that be my purpose. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.